Namaste, my dear friends. We are today exploring the challenges that yoga as a spiritual discipline will bring to us, especially in today's times. There are a few important challenges that we face today. First and foremost is the noise from outside. See, today we are an information-driven society where there is so much information from so many different sources. We have the internet, we have our neighbors, we have advertisements from TV and television and radio. So we have so much noise and information from outside that we get so confused as to what information is factual and what information is incorrect and what is it that we must follow. And therefore we forget the information that comes from within through the form of intuition, through the form of insight, etc., that comes from silencing this noise from outside. Because the noise is so strong in modern society from outside, it becomes more and more difficult to listen to those silent voices of intuition and insight that come from deep in our heart. And that is a, one of the biggest challenges of yoga as a spiritual practice today. The second problem is that among this information is this beautiful new age idea that spirituality is all about peace and love and beauty and things like that. It's not. Spirituality is actually looking at our darkness, looking at our shadows, looking at our suffering and owning it and working through it working over it and overcoming them so that the light behind them can shine. The problem also in the modern era is that most people want to embrace an idea of spirituality that everything is beautiful, everything should be nice, everything should be comfortable. When in reality, spiritual path is not at all an easy path. You look at lives of great masters like the Buddha, like Jesus, like Patanjali himself, like all the great masters, they went through challenges before they found enlightenment. So this is another challenge that people want everything easy. The last challenge is the prominence and prevalence of fake teachers who misguide people in very colorful, very charismatic robes, charismatic words, but there is lacking in the depth and there is lacking of honesty in their teachings. And many people who are seekers are unable to tell the difference between who is an ideal and appropriate master to follow and who is not. And therefore, a lot of people spend a lot of time, a lot of resources in following fake masters and they get deluded and disillusioned about spirituality. And I would say that these three are perhaps the greatest challenges in the modern era when it concerns spirituality, especially in the field of yoga. Namaste, my dear friends. Namaste, my dear friends. My name is Kaustubha Desikrachar and I am currently representing the Vidyoga tradition. Thank you for watching our channel. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button so that you may receive fantastic updates every week on all the wonderful videos that we are presenting. And of course, we would encourage you to share these videos through your social media platforms to all your friends and students so that this kind of special knowledge can be shared to all those who are seriously interested in the classical traditions of yoga. Thank you for your support, my dear friends, and we wish you all the very best. Namaste.